Friends, Minecraft is finally ported to a standalone Quest 2 and you can play it without the need for a gaming PC. Introducing Questcraft! Enough said, this kind of a video doesn't need a lengthy introduction. So this time we will make it an OBS video and jump straight into a tutorial. I will also try to give you some troubleshooting tips, but if they don't work, you can join Questcraft Discord community and ask your questions there. One important note, you will still need a PC to install it. It doesn't have to be a gaming PC, it just needs to be a PC that you can run side quests on and access the internal folders on your quest to substitute some files on it. I've got to say the installation process is not straightforward and I struggled a lot trying to make it work. It took me quite a few tries, so if it doesn't work for you at first, don't get disappointed, just keep trying and make sure you follow my steps closely. And if it works, please show your gratitude by generously liking this video and subscribing to Disco VR for more. If you're ready, let's go! Installing and setting up SideQuest is the first thing you need to do. Follow their official tutorial on the SideQuest YouTube channel hosted by yours truly and linked in the description. And when SideQuest is installed on your computer, Quest is connected and you see the green dot in the corner, come back to this video. Next, we will install the QuestCraft game port. In the SideQuest search bar, look for QuestCraft. And once again, if your Quest is connected, install the APK file. After that, in the drop-down menu, select this file that says PCVR. This is just a zip folder that you will need to download on your PC. Download it, you will find it in the compressed file. You will need to extract the folder by right-clicking on it and extracting whichever tool you're using on your PC. Once it's extracted, open the folder and here you will see the folder called Android. Make sure your quest is still connected to your PC, open the internal storage and here you will see that it also has the folder called Android. Now simply copy and paste or drag and drop the Android folder that you have just downloaded from SideQuest to the internal storage and make sure to replace all existing files. Don't worry, this will neither break nor block your quest, but if you want, you can make a copy of this Android folder before replacing the files, just in case, even though I tested it and everything went smoothly on my end. Before we proceed, it is important to know that you need to have purchased Minecraft on your Microsoft account before proceeding. The file we just downloaded is just a VR port of the game and not a game itself, so go to the Minecraft website, I will leave the link in the description, and buy the game if you haven't already with your Microsoft account. Now you are done with your PC, you can disconnect your Quest and put it on. Go to your app library, unknown sources, and select the PoJeff launcher. Here it will take some time extracting the game when you launch it for the first time. You will need to log in, in my case I logged in with my Microsoft account, the same one I used to buy Minecraft. After you log in, the next step is to restart your Quest. Yes, I put it as a separate step because it's very important, yet it's very easy to forget. If you don't restart your game, it will be crashing and you'll be commenting under this video why your game isn't working. So, you restart your quest, open the launcher again, and this time, when you log in, click on select account, and then select your account. This step has been recommended by the developers, so just do as they say, even if you don't understand it. Okay, now we're here in the launcher, and there are some critical things we need to do here as well. First, Go to the settings on the bottom left, then go to video and renderer and select the renderer. Choose the third option, at least as of now is the third from the top, but again, this might change in the future. Next, you need to change the game version. Click here and scroll all the way down until you find the fabric version. If you do not see the fabric build, most likely you need to restart your headset. Again, this will likely change in the future, so follow the news from the devs closely to know how to launch your game. Remember that this port is still in beta. Finally, in the settings, you may slightly reduce the texture resolution to make it a bit easier on your system to render the game. Deep breath, let's start. If you did everything correctly, you will see this window. It is very important to click play anyway. I clicked OK once and my game crashed. Go figure. Once again, little things matter in fragile builds like this, so follow every step closely. Now the game will launch. You will be sitting on this loading screen for a while before it changes to the red screen of death and then finally loading the game. If on this step your game crashes and you got kicked out to your home screen, no worries, just keep trying. Restart your quest again, rewind this video, make sure you've selected all the right settings and followed all the small steps. Here's another troubleshooting tip that actually helped me. If you tried everything and nothing worked, instead of downloading the files from SideQuest, you can try downloading it from GitHub. I'll leave the link in 
the description. Here download this APK file, even though in theory it's supposed to be the same file that you find on SiteQuest, but again, I don't fully understand why some things work and some don't, I just offer things that worked for me. Now you can install it by clicking this button on SiteQuest and selecting this new APK. You can also repeat the step of replacing the Android folder, just to be safe, you never know. After multiple reinstalls and headset reboots, I finally managed to make it work. I don't want you to think that it works perfectly for everyone, and you are not the only one who is struggling. I think everyone is struggling at this point, because of how fragile this build is. Just keep trying and remember that devs are working hard on making it better day by day, and this is only a beta. Now, if you've made it this far, congratulations, you're running Minecraft on a standalone quest. Now, there are just a few things left for you to do. Go to the settings and in render distance, select it, something between 4, 5 or 6 chunks. 5, 6 works best if you want to have a smooth gameplay. And now you can play either single player or multiplayer. There are also some controls that could be useful for you, you can save this for the future. I think it's so cool that quest controllers are so well optimized. So what do you think? Are you excited that you're able to play Minecraft on a standalone quest too? Let me know in the comments what you think about this port and whether you're able to get it to work. Please remember to join Sidecraft Discord with any questions. Also, please show your appreciation by leaving a like to this video and subscribing to Disco VR. It goes a long way and is the easiest way you can support this channel. Speaking of supporting the channel, a huge shout out goes to my patrons. You're amazing guys and I'm so grateful for your support. And you also can become my patron by following the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching friends, stay safe and as always, happy gaming!